Also tonight, groundbreaking research in Sheffield is offering hope of a swifter diagnosis and treatment for people suffering from serious heart conditions. Diagnosis of the life-threatening blockages associated, of course, with coronary artery disease can be hit and miss. But now computer software developed in Sheffield between the university and the hospital should help eliminate human error. Our health correspondent Penny Bustin has this exclusive report. What's your name, Pat? Bell Right, I'm Tina, and I'm just going to pop Tina. some electrodes on. Melvin's heart condition has got worse over the last month. More breathlessness and chest pain. Coronary heart disease is the most common cause of death and illness in the UK. But work between Sheffield hospitals and the university, using volunteers like Melvin, is analysing arterial problems in much more detail. Normally, a catheter is fed into the heart, dye is injected and an x-ray monitors it. But here, a pressure probe is also analysing flow and pressure across narrowings. The way it happens at the moment is rather hit and miss, so it's very much a doctor's opinion. What we're trying to do is inject some science into the process. So we're measuring the pressure drop across these narrowings, and a colleague of mine, who I'm doing the research with, is writing some rather clever software that can predict exactly what that pressure drop is so that at the end of the day we don't need to put a wire down the artery we can simply ask the software to tell us what to treat. Melvin is found to have three narrowings. The extra information from the pressure probe allows an exact diagnosis about which to treat. We measured the pressure drop across each of them. That's the wire across the first one. That's the wire across all of them. And what we found that the pressure drop across this one wasn't significant, but it was across those. So what we then did was to put a stent in. And you can see here, he's got a nice big stent inserted across those two narrowings, but not that one. And this is the size of Melvin's life-saving stent. Anything that gives you a better quality of life, uh, you need to be looking at doing it. So I'm looking forward to having it done and Glad to that today's happened. And how are you feeling now? 100% better. If the patient can be treated or investigated with one single test, then it would save them endless, unnecessary tests, time and, of course, money. Once developed, the Sheffield software could be applied to anyone having an angiogram worldwide. Penny Bustin, BBC Look North, Sheffield.